So we just got news that the winner of Quig and Frampton must face Guillermo Rigondeaux on or before July 27th. Beautiful. Now, the breakdown of Quig and Frampton is going to be it's going to be interesting. That's a good damn fight. I like Frampton a little bit right now, but that could change. Um, I got to do a little bit more studying on Quig. I like Quig. He's long. He's tall. He's rangy, and he's active. But I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I might be. I'm, I might not be giving him enough credit. So I gotta. I gotta do some more studying on him. But I like that fight. I really like that fight. It seems like a grudge match. They really seem like they don't like each other. So it should be exciting. Um. So yeah, the winner gotta face Guillermo. Which I think is a good, which I think will be a good fight for him either way. Either way it turn out, it should be a good fight for Rigondeaux. The question is, do any of those guys have a chance against Rigondeaux? Now, Rigo's last fight, I wasn't really feeling it. He, 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 he didn't look like the old Rigo to me. And I was kind of upset about that because I don't know. I just expect, I just expect greatness from him all the time. But then I, but then I did my homework and I realized that he had a year, he had a, a, a year layoff and only like a week or, not a week or two, but I say about two or three weeks to prepare. So I understand the rust and he was, he was a little rusty. Um, but he got, a, he, he, he got a definite opponent coming up, you know, July 27th. So that's going, that's going to give him enough time and, he gonna be motivated, I'm sure. So I, I can't wait to see what he does, man. And I can't wait to see uh, Quig and Frampton get down too. So that's gonna be, that's that's gonna be that's gonna be a good good fight, man. Either e either way, either one, it doesn't matter. Either one of those guys that come out on top should be a good fight for Rigo, because I think I think they're gonna they're gonna make him fight. They're gonna make him throw more punches. Um. Not, not, not fight to where he's uncomfortable. I think, I think he'll still control range and, you know, pot shot like he usually does. But I think, um, I think, I think, I think with Quig's length and his activeness and, 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 and the same with, with Frampton. I, I mean, it's a good fight all, it's, it, either, either fight is, is a good fight all around the board. So who do you think y'all, who do you, who do y'all think would win? Out of Quig and Frampton, and who do you think would give Guillermo Rigondeaux a better fight between the two? Comment below.